Okay, so you've bought your video capture device for 31 bucks or less, about 25 in other places. Your video cassette recorder, your VCR, or you're using the one that your grandparents left you in their will after watching and videoing the animals going on the ark. And you can pick up one of a new one from the good guys for about 130 bucks or so. I forget exactly how much, but they're not that expensive anymore. Anyway, once you've done that, you've plugged in your video capture device into your USB port on your PC or your laptop. You've connected up the leads from the VCR to the uh, capture device. Remember, the colours match the colours, so ye yellow, white and red match. Yellow, white and red. And you're almost good to go. Then you install the video capture software onto your PC or laptop. And in my case, I use an older video card, so I use a product called Compro DTV4 and there it is. When we first look at the screen, you can see down the bottom here we've got controls that are very similar to a VCR, play, stop, record, pause, etc. And you have what channel you're on, the time that's now elapsed at the time, 10.57am, and we've got composite selected here. Composite is the video input. If you right click in this blue area here, you can see there's a range of options available to you. Let's click on options. I'll just take you very quickly through generically how I set mine up. So the first one is your channel input. So you can see here that there's a capacity to select the checkbox here on the sides here. Now because I don't watch TV on this particular PC, I watch one on watch it on another PC, is I have the analog and the video, sorry, the analog and the digital TV components deselected. The only one I have selected is the analog composite. Now you might be using S video, in which case you have that plugged into the black, which is the black lead that you've got left dangling there. And you would have that selected instead of that. But in my case, it's just a pure old analog U bit, run of the mill, standard VCR, so I've just got that selected. Video audio, I leave all that on default. Recording. The only selections I make here is you can see that I change and each week I'll plug it into a, a new directory that I create for my acting classes and in here I select the hard drive and typically it's my e-drive because it's usually got the most available to me. The next one from there is time shifting, I leave that alone, user interface, I leave all that alone as well, and system devices, I leave all that away, alone as well, I just have my audio going through my Logitech G93 heads, headset, which is probably a bit geeky, but anyway, once you've done all that, click OK. Down the bottom here, you should be almost ready to rock and roll, so from here, we select record, on the little arrow, and all you'll be able to see is the PAL DV there, the PAL PCMP2, and you probably won't be able to see what's after that but in any event I'd select PAL DVD because it's the best quality for the older card click on that see that's turned fuzzy word records come up here it's now chugging away simply just press play on my VCR fires up Harry. record what I you want to record Harry. I went the other way Harry. what? we're just going to be friends again friends, great it's the best way once you're finished and it comes up to that fuzzy bit. Excellent. Swap. Just hit your stop button on your VCR. You'll see that stop comes up here. And you'll see that this is still recording however. So remember once you've done that also hit stop here. You'll see then that it's recorded to this particular file here. If I open up Explorer you'll see there's the file saved into the week 4 folder that I created for when Harry met Sally. Just in case you're wondering what the other file is there, the audio, I tend to record the audio as well so that I can um, play it back and learn the script because I'm old. It's kind of how I have to do it. Anywho, um, <laughs> double click on that and you'll see that's how it looks on Windows Media Player. It's recording there. It's play, just Love. as I said, there Harry. it is. I didn't. I said I would, and I didn't. Harry. I went the other way. Harry! What? I'm just going to be friends again. Friends, great. And the best way. You can see that works. Just stop that there, so you're not bored on another performance. Once that's completed, that's about it. Now, you 
can load this file here into your favourite post-production editing suite. Windows comes with a default DVD or movie maker, you can use that. If you're a bit more game and want a bit more functionality, products such as Adobe After Effects or uh, if you're using a Mac then, oh god what's the Mac software, Final Cut, something like that, will uh, give you the functionality and diversity you want to do a full-blown UV production. Uh, I tend to use After Effects, so it's um, movie, the movie maker's not all that flash, but anyway, that's about it. I think um, there's nothing else that you really need to know at this stage. Oh, if you can also use the default uh, Windows DVD maker to put all of your various clips together over the weeks to compile it into a DVD of choice that you can watch for years to come and look at how much you've improved as time goes on. Or at least that's the plan. Anyway, have fun gang, see you all at class, bye.